All right, we have a Lenovo, Lenovo ThinkPad E550. And SSD is failing and we're getting a report from Windows. So we're going to replace the SSD and clone it as well. First, I'd like to see what kind of SSD is in here. Let's have a look. It's got a traditional 2.5 inch SSD. It's a 128 gig SanDisk model. And we're going to use Macrium to clone the hard drive. And I'll show you how you can boot off the USB as well for this model. So this should just slide out. Yep. There we go. 128 gigs, sand disk. And we're going to replace with a 256 gig model from Lexar. And we'll have it ready for the customer same day. And that's the Lexar NS100 family. It's ideal, useful for office environments. Not a lot of video editing. Reading from a USB is faster than writing to USB. That is why I am going to copy from the USB and write to the SSD. It makes the cloning a must, much faster pro process. Or you can use one of those cloning dual bay hard drive stations. This has a DDR3, 4 gigabyte. It is the L, so it is a low voltage. CMOS battery easily accessible. That's nice. This is about five year old. Okay, and Macrium can be downloaded over the internet, free for home use, it's a great little product, I do recommend it. Okay, first we need to boot the system into Macrium, so put in the USB. Power F12 key. F12 
F12 It's already booting up the USB because it could not find the boot device I'm using one of these adapters this you can pull out of external hard drives the 2.5 inch enclosures and this is just a USB cable plug into the SATA port and there we go plug the hard drive in so you go into backup menu refresh to pick up the external hard drive click on this drive clone this disk select the disk to clone to found our new hard drive going to drag and drop come on yep the reason why I drag and drop because it doesn't resize the partitions properly so here we got 7.72 gig of data used another 7 gigabyte used here so we're gonna free about 15 16 gigabytes so I'm going to resize this C drive to make up for maximum possible and leave about 16 gigabytes free and I'll check the remaining two partitions at the end so we're not wasting any space done next and finish and that's it I'm gonna connect the hard drive uh, the charger to this we don't want it to shut down while cloning thank you for watching